Hey guys, welcome back. Another really, really, really nice morning out here. I'm out here in the Osa Peninsula in Costa Rica and I'm launching out of Puerto Jimenez. Today I'm back on the kayak and I'm looking for Snook. So I'm out here with Tosh, he's over there. But we're going to be going in the mangroves looking for a Snook. So I'm actually really excited because this mangrove fishing is just... You're right, you're right in the mangrove, you're using small lures and you're trying to get pretty nice sized snook and snook is a fish that I haven't caught yet just because they're not around in the west coast and it's a really really tasty fish so if I catch one I'm, I am gonna have it for dinner or something but I've also heard that they put up really really acrobatic fights so we're gonna take the kayak over there and you can see today I just have some light tackle out I have this rod this is seven and a half feet this is the St. Croix Tidemaster inshore but this is the travel rod so it's three piece this is what I travel with or one of the rods that I travel with and then I have on it I have this Daiwa 3000 and this is a nice combo because it's just the perfect weight and it casts far but it's a it's got a pretty good backbone for if I hook a big fish. And then on here I got 14 pound braid right there and my leader that's 25 pound fluoro. So that's the gear we're using and then you can see my lure right there. That's a nice little minnow looking lure. So I'll be throwing this and then if this doesn't work I'm going to switch to a small twitch bait. And then we'll see if that produces a bite. But without further ado let's go to the mangroves. You can see all the mangroves right here and mangroves are so good you know they contain so much wildlife and also they're really good for storm damage mitigation so these guys when a tropical country such as Costa Rica gets hit with a big storm or a hurricane which they do having a lot of mangrove literally just completely absorbs the shock or absorbs much of the shock from that storm so they're really really important especially with global warming causing more and more severe storms every year these guys are precious i'm excited to go fish in them you can see one pair of scarlet macaws over there another over there those are beautiful those are the scarlet macaws are the big red parrots that they have uh, blue and yellow on them really big big parrots and they are so beautiful i see them flying every morning so it's really a treat all right we're gonna start around here and you can see actually the sun is rising behind me it's like 6 15 right now something like that sun is up at around 5 50 over here so it's a perfect time to get started and you can see mangrove right there and this is the habitat that the snook like to hide out in it's that brackish water you know when the salt water meets the fresh water creates this really nice snooky ecosystem so i got this lure there's a floating lure, so I'm going to cast it out. And I'm just going to give it a nice gentle retrieve. It swims pretty nice on its own, so I might just... Gentle pops, but I know these snook like their lures swam reasonably slow. But basically the snook, we're at high tide right now, so a lot of them are in the mangrove. They're far in there, but as the tide drops, you know, the water level will drop in there and they'll be forced out right to where we're casting. So we're just getting it as close to the mangrove as possible. But I think as the day progresses, they'll be out and about more. Casting into these little pockets, just like that. That's where the fish are hiding, right in those little pockets. All right, so the water is too clear here and snook like murkier water. So we're gonna go to another river mouth, like two miles that way. And you can see on this rig, I just have two kind of like bigger pollitos right here. It's, the first one's on a dropper loop and then the second one is just tied on down here. But I'm gonna be trolling this thing. And then you can see I got another rod out and this rod is trolling a Rapala. So it's kind of like these anchovy colors, which is nice. So it'll just be trolling back there. And it's probably gonna take us about an hour to get there. So a good hour long troll, hopefully will catch us a fish or two. All right, something just took the live bait <laughs> and not sure what it is. We just saw a little hit. So we free spooled it and then this thing 
was on the end. So let's see if we can get him up. We've been trolling for a while, trying to find murkier water for snook and such, but haven't had any luck. And actually right now, this is, this is, I'm kind of excited to see what this is because we're on like 250, 270 feet of water and we were about to just drop some jigs down, but then this hit. So let's see what it is. Yeah, it's got some size to it, I think. All right, so he thinks it's a bonita. Bonita with an A. Or a first elephant caught here. Or a fr <laughs> the first elephant, huh? So the bonita is a, it's like a black tuna, which is not good for eating, but if it's a yellowfin, that's dinner. Let's see. Could be anything though. It's deep, deep water. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, this is a good fish. Oh, he's going straight down. He's going straight down. We've been fishing all day right now, and all we've caught is Tosh got a really small jack right in the mangroves. But other than that, this is the first fish and it's a good one. It's a good one. So he's shiny, he's super shiny and the water's so clear, I can see him. I can just see little bits of him sometimes. There he is, get up here. It's a Bonita. All right, well let's see, yeah. Bonita, so it's like one of those black tuna. Let's see. Oh, he pulled the hook. <laughs> I just All right. <laughs> he pulled the hook. All right, that's okay. Caught fish, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Well, at least we got to see what it was. Yeah, it looks like there's more bonitas over there. So they're around here. But that was a that was a good good fight. So right now, you can see I got a live bait on here, and we're about to. We finally reached the river mouth. Two miles later, so it's right over there, and we're just gonna quietly and slowly drift into there. And then I'm gonna cast my live bait out there and I'm just gonna free spool it, but we just have to be quiet to not spook any fish. Yep, all right, that live bait. That live bait worked. That live bait did the trick. So there's something on here. I'm not sure what it is. Oh! Yeah, it's a snook, it's a snook. That's a good snook. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah, it's gonna jump, it's gonna jump. Yep. That Keep that drag nice and loose. Nice. All right, all right, well that's a snook. That's what, it's, that's exactly what we came for. This thing was not hitting anything. And we finally got it on the live bait. There it is. Nice and easy. There it is, nice and easy, nice and easy. Massive. That's a good snook, that's a good snook. So yeah, we just cast that live bait right here by the river, yep. And fish on baby come on this is a good snook nice there it is Ooh. okay 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 i got scared i got scared with that because they jump and then that head shake is when the hook comes out there we go oh Ooh. yep yeah he doesn't want to come in come on come on come on Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's a good snook. Here, here, I'm keeping him here, I'm keeping him here. Oh, look at that. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's done. That's Snookzilla. That's huge. Wow, look at that. Look at that fish. That's a beautiful snook. Oh, dude, look at that. How, how big do you think this snook. is? I'm not sure. I'm not very good at weighing snook, but it's... It's definitely it's a, a decent one. It's a snook. Oh my god. On wow. that live bait as well. A lot of time people lose snook um, on lighter line because their gill plates are really sharp. You can see right there. That's a sharp gill plate. So that'll just cut your line. So it's good that we were using 50 pound right there because 25 wouldn't have necessarily survived that. But it looks like he got hooked pretty well. All right, so just caught that big, big, big snook. Big 15 pound snook. Nice. Monster monster and then basically they don't catch him that often here and actually last time we were fishing here we were going for roosters and he cast out his bait his the hook came off the live bait and then something swallowed it right as it hit the water so we think that was a snook right here it was way better conditions than in that first river we were at you can see there's way murkier water and it just did not dirtier. take long perfect perfect river entry but yeah we're gonna go try to get another one now. yeah let's get another one perfect tide perfect everything see if we can pick up a second snook look i got a goggle eye right here as live bait so i'm just gonna gently cast this guy out there hopefully he'll swim towards shore and that's when he'll get hit so that other one hit as it was swimming towards shore 
and it was really really close to shore when it got hit so let's see if this guy does the same thing we hooked it in the tail so that it swims away from us sometimes you hook the nose and it'll swim toward you i want this guy swimming toward the beach it's a waiting game right now you can see i got my bail open and i'm just letting my fish run just keeping tension with this finger right here but i can feel him kicking right there if he gets hit i'm gonna let this snook or whatever hits eat him for like five seven seconds and then just reel down i got that circle hook so i can just reel down and it'll set the hook but it's fishy it's looking fishy out here and a dead low tide you can see right here this should all be covered i mean that's a river but the bank is completely exposed you can see that pier is just standing on mud it's just because the tide is so low and that is what these snook want oh look at that look at that right ahead there's a rooster fish everywhere I gotta hurry, gotta hurry, look at that. Oh my God. They could be gone in like a second though. So yeah, you can see from here, the big combs, they're hitting everywhere. This is where the popper just kills. But we got a blue runner on a rod, so we're gonna throw that. All right, blue runner right here, I'm gonna hook him right like that through the nose. Now I'm gonna, chuck him in see if one of these rooster picks him up because i think they're still around here they're not busting anymore let's just drop him here let him swim the roosters should still be around and they gotta be somewhere around here and there were so many hopefully there will be one or two around here and hopefully they eat this thing but right now just letting him run let's see if these roosters come back damn look i'm sitting out here with the bait out and these roosters were hitting for like a minute you saw the insane action just one minute of rooster blitz, rooster fish everywhere. Literally, if you throw a water bottle in there, they'll eat it. But it's so fast by the time we get here, you know, there's no more fish. So that's why you just gotta be in the right place at the right time with the right bait. And that's how you catch, Oh, you see that? That was a rooster, that was a motherfucker. Come here, come here, come here. All right, there are definitely still some around. So I'm just hoping my bait gets picked up. Last thing we're gonna try today, I'm gonna drop down this jig see if we can jig something up off the bottom so all i'm doing right now is just letting it sink behind me beside me and once it hits the bottom you'll see what i do but that jig i believe is one ounce now that it's down there we just pop it a bit and hopefully this gets hit pretty fast and i don't have to bring it all the way up once it's about halfway there i'll just sink it again let it touch bottom and restart until we get a fish on. Go, bro, start recording. Yeah, fish on. Fish on right there. Let's see. Oh, mackerel. And it got off right there. But that was a Sierra mackerel. So those guys are really tasty. Let's see if there's more down here. GoPro, start recording. There we go. Yeah, this is another mackerel. You see that big run right there when I hooked it? Oh yeah, this is a nice mackerel. Ooh, 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 this is a very nice mackerel. Come on, yep. That's a, that's a good fish right there. And there's some more I can see around it. There you go, little Sierra mackerel. Ooh, look at that, bit my shirt, gotta be careful. But this is what that is, beautiful fish, let me release them. They're very tasty, but I already got a bunch in the freezer. However, they do put up really good light tackle fights as you just saw, so let's see if there's more down here. Blue runner? Nice. GoPro, start recording. Yeah, okay, there you go. I think this is another mackerel. Ooh, oh, <laughs> that was a big run. Oh, let me see what this is. Ah, this is another mackerel, I think. They're liking this jig. That didn't hit like it was that hard, but then those runs. Yeah, that's a mackerel. That's a mackerel. Oh, this is a good mackerel. Ooh. 
get over here. Look at this fish. Nice, nice size mackerel right here. Look at this. And you just saw the fight that this thing put up. So it's a nice size, but it's still not that big of a fish for the fight it picked up. Go, bro, start recording. All right, there's something. Feels kind of heavy. I feel like I might've just hooked him weird. Yeah. Yep, false hooked threadfin jack. Look at this thing, nice. All right, well that's it for today. We got that one snook, lots of mackerel. One bonita. The bonita, the bonita that got off right at the edge. But we were going for snook and we caught a snook and there are not many snook being caught out here so that's really really good and on the live bait too so we're gonna fillet it and i'll go gonna... back to the house fillet it get some better pictures and yeah eat, eat it, it later <laughs> but that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please like it comment subscribe share it and until next time tight lines see you guys